Well, folks, Football Manager 2024 Mobile is out now, and I guess we need to get the controversy out of the way right up front. It is exclusive to Netflix. You still download it from the iOS or Android app stores, but in order to play it, you have to log in to the Netflix app. I'm already a Netflix subscriber, so I'm able to play it. So I've got it loaded up on my trusty iPhone, and we are going to have a little look through to see if it's worth you subscribing to Netflix for. If you don't already, spoilers, it won't be worth subscribing to Netflix for if you don't already subscribe to Netflix. But if you've got Netflix, it is a way to try out a version of the game for free that you may be ignored previously that used to have a price tag. I'm trying to put a positive spin on it. Football Manager Mobile. And there we are, logged in, which, I mean, it literally, because I've got the Netflix app on my phone, it all kind of happened before I even pressed record, but it loaded up Football Manager, then flashed up Netflix, asked me to pick which Netflix user it was, and then flicked me back over to Football Manager. And in fact, I think if I push there... You can see, yeah, there's no personal information on there, is there? You can see that I have got the uh, the Netflix login to it. So, it's yeah, my le my Netflix icon is a chicken. What's yours? If it's not a chicken, you're not as cool as me. Now, one of the big new features that was advertised for FM24 Mobile is, and I'll quote, effortless onboarding. So, to me, that implies that it's all going to be nice and snazzy and clear as soon as we hit new game. So let's hit new game and have a look at the options we've got for us. So three options. We've got career mode, challenge mode, which is fewer challenges than normal. I feel like we normally have more than three challenges. There doesn't seem any way to scroll that. And also my club, which is the creator club version. We're going to be doing this on just a normal career mode. So we'll hit career, hit continue. We'll be managing in England because it's nice and straightforward. Of course, Japan have been added to all versions of FM24 this year. So if you want to manage in Japan, they are right there for you. Um, and in England, as you can see, as usual, we've got the licenses for all of the uh, Football League and National League teams. But as usual, Premier League doesn't have licenses. Although, if you similar to on all the other versions of the game, if you want to manage Brighton or Manchester City, they do have their licenses. But we'll just click on Arsenal. We're doing all of these first looks because I am doing a first look at all the different versions of Football Manager. And for all of them, we're just loading up a nice, simple save with Arsenal because easy for comparison then, isn't it? We've got a few other things. These are all the same things that you've been able to click previously. So we're not going to worry too much about any of this we're just going to click next and quickly flick through all of these because none of this is the new feature stuff and of course we want to get in and have a look at the new features so can we just leave that as is manager profile incomplete fine i'll set up my manager profile i've got to select my nationality that's what i haven't done so i am english and now i think i can just Click straight through. I can. I can take a picture. Oh, wow. This is this is astounding stuff. So you want access to my camera? You can have access to my camera. Wow. That's quite cool, actually. It's already it's green screened out my background, and there I am in game. I tell you what, that's more seamless and easier to do than it is on any other version of FM. I feel like they could very easily allow you to do that on the full version of the game with some kind of QR code setup. But... I guess it's easy enough anyway on a PC. Maybe for the console, it would be... What have I done? Oh, there you go. There's our breaking news. There's me being appointed as the new Arsenal manager. I look really happy about it, don't I? Goodness me. And here is the new onboarding, I guess. You're ready to start your manager managerial career. Use the side menu on the left to navigate your way around the game and view items related to your club, competitions, in-game world, blah, 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 blah. Tap in the continue. We know all this. Okay, so this is... It is taking us through what you talk this is long long overdue and particularly valuable this year because obviously you've got all of the new netflix people coming in there's going to be a lot of people theoretically who i know i'm probably talking to the football manager people who are upset they now need to go and get netflix which i get but of course there's a whole extra category of people who already have netflix and maybe we'll give Football Manager a try and haven't played it before. So having an actual tutorial to get those people into the game is useful. FM Mobile, it, it's the gateway drug to get you into the the more 
the more comprehensive versions of the game. So as a Netflix subscriber, it's a great way to try the game out for nothing. I guess we have to view it in those terms. Like I say, we will put a positive spin on this. Um, so we'll just flick through um, the onboarding stuff. So yeah, this is just telling us how to get around. Um, how do we come out of this? We've gone through all six of them now. Um, is there a way out of that? There you go. You just click somewhere else on the screen and you come out of it. So once we've done that, um, the rest of the user interface and all that kind of stuff looks pretty familiar, uh, pretty similar to how it's looked in previous years. There's not a huge amount of new stuff that's been added to this side of things. Uh, my understanding is, and it's tied in with the whole signing with Netflix thing, um, I feel like FM Mobile was probably a game that was on its last legs and has been reignited and given new life by the Netflix deal. And as a result, there's not a massive amount to the untrained eye that's new in the game. One of the things that is advertised as a new feature is manager profile stuff which apparently updates as you go through your career. Now, this is going to be something we can't really demonstrate as part of a first look because you need to play a career to see this kind of stuff develop. But as you can see, halfway down the screen there, next to lovely, happy, mouth open, smiling Kev, um, you've got manager titles, and that's where you will unlock certain titles and achievements through your managerial career. Um, there you go. Here's the examples of them. So under people management, it actually does. Okay. So it does show you um, what they are. We just haven't unlocked any of them yet. So there's various different things you can unlock. So we can have a little look at this. So under specialism, I don't know, survival specialist, this reputation will certainly inspire confidence in the ambitious and hardworking players in your squad who have no intention of dropping down in the football pyramid. So I guess... Each one of them inspires people in a different way, or you unlock things for doing different things. Um, oh, here you go. So, wow, there's an there's actual reputation for jinxed. What was that one? So why would you put this on? Players in your squad unable to handle the stress of the big occasion may struggle if you have that reputation. So if you've got that one unlocked, you probably don't want to have that one unlocked. Um, but if you've got Trophy Hoarder, um, you're more ambitious and determined. Player. So depending on which ones of these you have selected, it will inspire or cause problems for various different personality types in your squad. So um, it's it's... Dare I say it's a bit gimmicky, it's a bit mobile gamey, but then this is a mobile game. So I guess it's fine to be a bit gimmicky and a bit mobile gamey. Um, but I think you basically go through and as you unlock these for doing different in-game things, you can then switch to the ones that you've got set on. So um, if you've got both Hairdryer and Star Maker unlocked, you can choose which one actually applies to you. And that will then have different effects on different players in the squad. And I guess you can switch from one way of management to another at the drop of a hat. So I mean, it's an interesting idea. It's not something I would expect to see transfer through into any of the other versions of Football Manager. But for, like I say, for a mobile game, it is very mobile gamey. So I suppose on that front, it does make sense. And then the only other really significant changes for FM Mobile are to do with the match day experience. They've added in some pre-match and some post-match stuff that wasn't in the game previously. So I think we're just going to kind of race forward to play in a match and then we can show you what the match day experience is like. Have I selected a captain there? Um, I just want to get into a match. Right, so we can go to tactics. Go to tactics. Here we go. So... This is the created tactic stuff. So this was in the game previously, the different types of tactic, but you've got more explanation now. And again, it was stuff that was missing. They've very much gone down the route of trying to make this a very easy entry point into the football manager ecosystem, if you like. So um, you can, I mean, some of these descriptions and explanations and like the, the scale that goes from proactive to reactive, I think that would be quite helpful in the PC version because sometimes I would I would struggle to come up with a reason why you would use a control possession system. It's not something I've ever really used. But now I can see it's like a, 
a step between a Gagan press and a vertical ticky tacker when it comes to how proactive you are. And depending on which ones of these you tick on, um, it will give you the pros and cons of each. Which, again, this is a level of depth on explaining the tactics that we don't really have in any other version of the game. We've got the three versions that my assistant manager would recommend. So we'll just go with one of these. So for an example, on the Tiki Tacker, it explains what the Tiki Tacker is, which we do have on the other versions. But then the thumbs up and thumbs down thing, we don't have. So for the thumbs up, our squad has the mental attributes needed to handle the demands of a high-pressing system. So it's telling you why you should use this system based on your players. An expressive tactic tactical style will give out creative players the freedom to work their magic on the pitch our squad has the physical profile needed to carry on a, uh, carry out a high press but we may struggle to win the ball back as quickly as this system demands due to the poor quality of our tackling but that's an issue with all of the more proactive systems i guess if we move down to the more reactive ones that becomes less of an issue so it comes down to whether we want to become whether we want to be attacking and fluid and take advantage of our creativity and our attacking skills at the potential cost of some stuff defensively or do we want to cover up our defensive deficiencies but know that we might i mean for example on fluid counterattack we might commit a lot of fouls because it's an aggressive system i think that's quite cool I like that. That's something that should be in other versions of the game because it's really handy for new players. And again, this whole the whole pretty much thing is quite nice. It splits the tactical shapes into three at the back, four at the back, and five at the back systems. And then again, you've got the thumbs ups, thumbs downs, explaining whether or not these systems suit the way you want to play or not. You've got the recommendations. So we could do a four. I mean, that's a four, three, three. To my old man eyes but i guess again for a mobile you have to make them look like fifa tactics so a good old 433 is actually a 41221 i hate it i hate it a lot but the youngins who've grown up on fifa will probably understand that a lot more and then you get to the actual good old-fashioned formation page um, where you can actually look at where you've got different relationships between different players on the pitch you can toggle that on and off um Right, that would change. We don't want to move away from Tiki Taka. Let's not press that. But that toggles on and off, which is quite handy. So you can see the right-hand side of our pitch is particularly strong with the relationships between the different players on there. Um, and then there's all these... I mean, I think a lot of this stuff is exactly as it was before. It was mainly that previous bit of the onboarding stuff that was new and different. Um, I'm not sure if we get any more new and different stuff if we hit go to match, but let's go to the match. Okay, squad numbers... We can assign some squad numbers. Um, yeah, we do want to go to the match, please. We we do keep trying it. Okay, did I not just do this? Yes, pick the squad numbers for me. Go to the match, please. Okay, so we now get to do a pre-match team talk. We don't have a huge number of options. And, I mean, some of it is actually hidden behind the notch on an iPhone, which is... Not ideal, I would say, but we'll go. We'll go balanced. We'll do. We'll do this option. Okay, so they're not different options. It literally is. Your team talk can be relaxed, balanced, or demanding. So I guess we'll go balanced. It's only a friendly. Um, we like balance. Can I confirm that? I can. Um, everyone seems relatively happy and confident with how we've done that. We're playing against Middlesbrough. Let's go into the match. Can we go into the match? So this is the match. Adjust your tactics. Um, yeah. So. Again, nice little bits of onboarding, and then we're back into the good old-fashioned 2D match engine, the top-down 2D with the text stuff in there. It's all very snazzy, but there are updates to how some of this stuff displays in-game. Obviously, if you're in a licensed league, you'd get the little player pictures and the licensed, the licensed badges and stuff. At this point, you can see them on Middlesbrough. We've not got them for Arsenal, but you can see them on Middlesbrough. They've got the licensed badge because that's in a licensed league. You can lower the speed of the game as well. But for me, I don't play FM Mobile a lot. Um, but when I do, I want to play it fast like this because I want to get through matches. I don't want to get through those matches quick. You can play through a seat. I can play for a season in a short European flight easily. Um, right. So half time, we can now do a half time team talk, um, which we are we're satisfied with how things are going. That's motivated everybody apart from Kai Havertz. 
tough tomatoes kai habits we are just gonna keep going as we're going um and then hopefully go and grab a couple more goals we're not going to mess around too much with doing substitutions and things like that um but we are keen to see the uh the post-match stuff um there's also react to key match moments i'm looking at some of the features make game winning calls with new interactive match events we've not had an interactive match event come up um we may get one. It doesn't look like we're going to. And then you get the post-match stuff as well. So some of this stuff is hard to show in a first-look video because it's stuff that you'll kind of discover and it will happen as you play the game. But certainly the tutorial stuff is good. I think it's much better. It's a much better fit as an entry point for a new player now. And now we should have post-match okay here's the post-match hub so we've got our positives and our negatives coming off the match again i like this i think stuff like this would be quite good to put into other versions i know it's a simplified version of something where we actually get a lot of data but for someone who doesn't really like the huge amount of data i think breaking a performance down into bullet points is quite good so the positives were our midfield showed good creativity the defense timed their tackles well we passed well out of defense negatives we had a lack of goal threat from attacking midfielders straight away we've got three or well, four bullet points that tell us what was good what was bad and if you start to notice patterns from that kind of stuff then you can you know adjust things as you go we can then hold a debrief which is effectively our post-match team talk um so great performance but we can do better seems fair enough you know what those little tweaks i quite like them i think they're quite cool there's nothing earth shatteringly new here i wouldn't expect there to be and it's worth bearing in mind as well obviously there's there's minimal risk here if you've got netflix you can play this if you haven't got netflix i wouldn't recommend signing up for netflix at like 10 pounds a month to be able to play this there are better versions of football manager available if you've already got netflix and you want to give it a try go for it it's worth bearing in mind if you're on iphone though and you've got apple arcade you can play the touch version which is the next version up if you like the better version on your iphone as well you can play it across your ios devices i am going to have a video looking specifically at that one coming out later today as well so if you've if you're both a netflix and apple arcade subscriber like some of us are because we hate money apparently um then you do have the option of playing a slightly better version of the game as well but like I say, if you're new to the Football Manager franchise and you're watching this video because you want to know whether or not to give Football Manager a try, absolutely go for it. If you're a seasoned Football Manager mobile player and you wanted something new and exciting that's been added to the game that you've been playing for years, you've not got that here, I don't think. But like I say, the iPhone experience on touch much better. You might it might be time for you to go and play on that unless you're on Android, in which case I'm sorry, there's not a lot we can do to help in that situation, unfortunately. But if you found this video helpful, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on it for me. Subscribe to the channel for loads more FM24 content. The other first looks at all the different versions of the game. Plus, of course, Non-League to Legend is back. And thank you very much for watching.